First reading A reading from the first letter of St Paul to Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 13 The saying is sure whoever aspires to the office of bishop desires a noble task now a bishop must be above reproach married only once temperate sensible respectable hospitable an apt teacher not a drunkard not violent but gentle not quarrelsome and not a lover of money he must manage his own household well keeping his children submissive and respectful in every way for if someone does not know how to manage his own household how can he take care of god's church he must not be a recent convert or he may be puffed up with conceit and fall into the condemnation of the devil moreover he must be well thought of by outsiders so that he may not fall into disgrace and the snare of the devil deacons likewise must be serious not double tongued not indulging in much wine not greedy for money they must hold fast to the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience and let them first be tested then if they prove themselves blameless let them serve as deacons women likewise must be serious not slanderers but temperate faithful in all things let deacons be married only once and let them manage their children and their households well for those who serve well as deacons gain a good standing for themselves and great boldness in the faith that is in Christ Jesus the word of the lord a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 7 verses 11 to 17 jesus journeyed to a city called nain and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him as he drew near to the gate of the city a man who had died was being carried out the only son of his mother as and she was a widow a large crowd from the city was with her when the lord saw her he was moved with pity for her and said to her do not weep he stepped forward and touched the coffin at this the bearers halted and he said young man i tell you arise the dead man sat up and began to speak and jesus gave him to his mother fear seized them all and they glorified god exclaiming a great prophet has arisen in our midst and god has visited his people this report about him spread through the whole of judea and in all the surrounding region the gospel of the lord my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ in today's gospel we saw another great miracle that was performed by jesus that is raising the son of the widow of nine from dead to life the friends in jesus christ while performing this miracle prior to the performance of this miracle jesus foreso in this poor widow the destiny and the fate of the blessed virgin mary while going through the events of suffering and death of jesus jesus foreso the sorrow of her mother of, of his mother in the life of this poor widow of nine my dear friends in jesus christ we know that when jesus was carrying the cross to the mount calvary when he was sentenced to death mother mary was also a widow saint joseph was dead and gone and jesus is also the only son of blessed virgin mary just as this poor widow's son is the only son of her 
Therefore, Jesus was so sensitive to the, that agony and to that pain this poor widow was going through. Why? Because Jesus began to see the very mother of himself in this poor widow. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, are we sensitive to the needs of others? Are we sensitive to the pains and sufferings of others? Do we see the presence of myself and my loved ones in the people, especially among the suffering and the poor? Dear friends, in Jesus Christ, this is what is lacking in our lives. Just think about the laborers who are exploited by their owners. Sometimes they work so many hours and they are paid only a low salary. And what about the time of relaxation and the holidays that are offered to them? If I am in their place, in the place of a laborer, what would be the sentiments that will be going on in my mind. If I am deprived of holidays and times of relaxation and if I am not paid enough for my labor. Therefore, my dear friends in Jesus Christ, we need to be sensitive to the needs of others. We must train ourselves to feel like others. That must be started from our families, families itself. Just think about your elderly father, elderly mother who is at home. Sometimes we have taken them to elders' home. Now, one day, if after reaching to their age, if I am sent to an elders' home, if I am ill-treated, what would be the feelings and the sentiments that will be going on in my mind? Therefore, let us begin to feel one with others. Especially, let us be sensitive to the needs and to the suffering and pain of others, just as Jesus did, it, did in his life.